What's up, everybody? I'm Will Fulton. This is Thrillist Best and the Rest, our weekly podcast. And today's a super special episode. Um, there are cameras on. So if you want to look at our faces while we talk about fast food, you totally can. Go on Thrillist's <laughs> YouTube channel. You'll find it. It's super easy. Uh, this episode is special because it's all about our giant, massive, really fun editorial package. The first annual Thrillist Fast Food Awards, commonly known as the Fasties. So... The first thing I thought about when I heard about the Fasties was I think that I should pick everything because I feel like I know more about fast food than uh, anyone else here. Uh, And you guys, you know, know a lot about fast food, so that's really saying something. (laughs) Number two, if Taco Bell Cinnamon Twist don't win something, I might actually quit the company. (laughs) (laughs) But I'm here with Tony Maravick, senior news editor, Kat Thompson, staff writer. Hello. And Kevin Alexander, the first man to make me cry. (laughs) Correct. (laughs) Author of the book. Burn the Ice, mm-hmm. which you can pick up uh, pretty much anywhere where books are sold. Yes. And uh, Thrillist Writer at Large. That's Hello. a mouthful, Kevin. You it's gotta, too much. You gotta bear it down. It's too much. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. um, so, <laughs> so this is kind of our Fasty brain trust right here. And Tony, you know, you as the creator of the Fasties, as the mind behind it, do you want to kind of explain what the Fasties is? Yeah, so the Fasties is the culmination of Thrillist's years and years and years and years of fast food coverage. Like, it started well before uh, I started at Thrillist five years ago. Kevin was there. Yeah, Kevin was there for it. <laughs> um, it, it takes our fast food coverage to the next level, maybe yeah. to a level too far. <laughs> um, uh, it's, it's basically our play on a award show and it's supposed to be silly, it's supposed to be fun. Uh, uh, we take fast food way too seriously here at Thrillist, but yes. we don't take ourselves too seriously. Um, but it, it's to celebrate all the great things that are happening in fast food right now, from plant-based burgers to sell-out chicken sandwiches to great sauces, desserts. Are the chicken sandwiches selling out? Like, are they going corporate, or are they just sold out? Oh, yeah. They're they're Both. getting sponsorships Both, okay. left <laughs> and right. Yeah. Suited up. Got it. <laughs> yeah. That um, was, yeah. That so great. that's what the fasties is. Awesome. I love it when I can outsource my hosting duties. <laughs> Thank you for explaining that. Um, you guys all worked on the fast food. Uh, uh, you guys all worked on the fasties, should I say. And we have just a ton of fast food here. We have, uh, you guys, what do you see that piques your interest right away? We definitely have a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Ooh. We've Very got nice. an Impossible Whopper. Definitely. Crunch wrap. Hot bite down. Crunch wrap. Mm-hmm. Mashed potatoes, I'm guessing from Popeyes. Some Doritos, Doritos Locos, Locos tacos. Yeah. Got a Dave single over here. We have a Big Mac, Ooh. Crunch Wrap Supreme. This is pretty much fast food heaven. So with all this food in front of us, and you, you guys can feel free to dig in, um, you know, as much or as little as you want. But I think to kind of, you know, work up to the fasties, what I want to do here is ask you guys a bunch of trivia questions around fast foods, get to know you a little bit better, to test your knowledge on fast food. And also, um, so we can play a little drinking game. <laughs> I of honestly course. just wanted to, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I wanted to pour rum in a frosty. It um, wouldn't be a thriller show without some sort of drinking game. I don't think it would. And this is special rum. I, I brought this in my suitcase from Cuba like three or four years ago. I've been saving it for today. Wait, was that allowed? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> oh, the lawyer's back. <laughs> yeah, the lawyer's been coming in here <laughs> a lot <laughs> for such a like you know non-conspicuous event as the fast I mean. we're getting a lot of trouble. No, but I put a lot of rum in these frosties, so basically here's how it's going to go. This is the Loaded Frosty Fasty Fast Food Trivia Challenge TLF, TLFFFFTC for short. I'm going to ask one of you a question, okay? So it's a little bit like Jeopardy meets uh, Hollywood Squares. Price is right. I know. Any game show you can think of. I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to answer it as best you can, and then the other two are going to either agree or disagree with this person, okay? And if you get the question wrong or get it wrong by association, you have to take a big old chug of that frosty. And uh, on my part, I'll just be, you know, sitting back drinking the whole time. Got that. <laughs> uh, guys, ready to start? Yeah, let's do it. Great. <laughs> Hit me. My mouth is full of chicken nugget. That's yes. great. So, Kat, first question <laughs> 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 What fast food chain is credited with inventing the modern drive through window? The modern drive through window? Yes. Is it not McDonald's? I'm going to say McDonald's. Okay. Kevin and Tony, do you agree with that? I disagree. I disagree. Wow. Do you guys know what it is? No. No. Okay, so I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are wrong. So you take a big swig of Ooh. your... Okay, but aren't... Oh, wait. 
Yeah. You should make them say what they. Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> no, because they'll have it's their fine. turns. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's Wendy's. They introduced at the grand opening of their second store in November 1970. Um, oh, I, how was oh, that oh. frosty, by the way? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's good. Did you guys know that? The that, Wendy's thing? Uh, no. no. I did not. I just think, knew it wasn't McDonald's. I think I remember like a Wendy's commercial emphasizing it, though, with like mm-hmm. that Dave Thomas guy in it. Like, yeah. Hanging out a drive thru. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Um,. I feel like more restaurants should have drive-through windows. Am I wrong here? Like, no, why can't Olive Garden have a drive-through window? Hundred percent, where they just throw breadsticks <laughs> yeah. and salad at yeah. you. Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. Breadstick cannon dodge. out the yeah. window. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Unlimited breadsticks and salad in a drive-through, so as much as they can push in your car <laughs> yes. for thirty seconds. Honestly, here in New York, I want more walk-up windows. Not a bad idea. Yeah. That'd What's the difference, really? Krispy Kreme is getting one in Times Square when they open their flagship store oh. this year. Yeah. You're getting instructed to talk louder. Krispy Kreme is opening a walk-up window when they open at their flagship store uh, this year. That's a, that's a good idea. Okay, uh, Tony. Question number two. Mm-hmm. What major fast food chain launched the subservient chicken ad campaign in the early 2000s with a website webcam featuring a man in a chicken suit following user-generated commands? Oh, boy. What the Take hell? yourself back to the what early the 2000s. Hell? The early 2000s. Backstreet Boys ruled the charts. <laughs> uh, and a man in a chicken <laughs> suit. I was, in, I was in grade school. Wait, uh, so this was like the formation of Twitch. What year was it? Uh, early <laughs> early 2000s. It was, you know, it was a slow rollout. Uh, Nelly was very popular. Yeah, Nelly was popular. <laughs> a man in a chicken suit. You don't remember this? No. Okay. I only The only fast food chain I could think that would go this low is KFC. <laughs> Okay. Goes. Damn. Goes low. They're the colonel. Okay. Um, do you guys agree or disagree with Tony's very wishy-washy? Obviously, he doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm I have gonna, no idea. I'm say, I disagree. I'm going to say no, too. Uh, yeah. Okay. You said the colonel, so now I'm like, yeah, you're right. Um, okay. It's Burger King. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Burger King would definitely those chicken do fries, that. right? Yeah, uh, yes. something? Yeah. Oh, Burger King. I should have no. guessed. Do, you, do any of you remember that? I no. do remember that. Oh, it's crazy. I remember... I was in my early 50s at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly discovering the internet. <laughs> no, it's funny you say I remember... I really specifically remember my dad showing me. My okay. dad was an early adopter of the internet. <laughs> as, he was. He loves apps and yeah. the internet. On the previous part, we were talking about how much he loves the Shake Shack app, and he yeah. really does love it. But he, he was like, hey, check this out. And you would just... It was a guy in a chicken suit in a room, and you would type in a command. You'd be like, dance. And it would dance, and it was like... it. It wasn't live. It just, you know, recognized yeah. common commands. But it was like an early yeah. introduction that to sounds, Wendy's. Yeah, that sounds like super twisted. I yeah. know. <laughs> like that could I was, go, yeah. go real wrong. Yeah. yeah, I was a preteen yeah. at the time with a shitty dial-up connection on a gateway computer Ooh. in the suburbs of Chicago. Can you There's do the no dial-up sound? That. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's pretty good. Yeah, this is the pod. Sorry for everyone out there listening. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, it was Also, cool. that was probably a bad face. <laughs> okay, sorry, Tony. You have to drink. Did you already do oh. it? Nope. All right. I'll drink too. Oh, oh, oh! I don't even like rum in, to begin with, and yeah. it's really I kind of like it's it. It's pretty oh, good. The, the, the <laughs> chocolate <laughs> brings out the terrible rum flavor. I'm not, keep, I'm not a huge rum person either. So. I keep no. just drinking it by myself. I know. <laughs> you're like, oh, oh, you're taking a sip. Yeah, I guess but... I guess I'll do it too. Yeah, I didn't even know the answer. Yeah. Um, it tastes like those. Uh, boozy chocolates I used to sneak as a kid. Ooh. See, I like that. Oh, that's so bad. Sneaking boozy chocolates, mm-hmm. watching a chicken webcam. <laughs> yeah. The suburbs of Chicago. Yeah. yeah. That's a Under wild gateway. place, man. <laughs> I believe it. Um, I think it's crazy how far fast food marketing has gone. I mean, we talk about fast food Twitter. They are saying some ridiculous shit that I can't even believe. It's flying now. Mm-hmm. Um, I have some of my favorite Wendy's Twitter burns pulled up. Do you have a, Do you have one that you particularly like? That you can remember off the top of your head, something that specifically Wendy's Twitter, I think, does a really good job of actually being funny and being entertaining. Yeah. Uh, they just did something for Burger King because Burger King was trying to troll them and uh, didn't know what they were getting into. <laughs> yeah. And Wendy's <laughs> hit back and were like, well, uh, your customers are used to being disappointed or something like that. Oh, <laughs> damn. Or That's used to up. being let down. Um, <laughs> That's amazing. It was it was pretty brutal. I feel like they should have known though, because Wendy's kind of has like a, like they're known for burning people like yeah. real bad, like customers yeah. and other corporate brands. Don't to the you point, just, yeah. Oh, I was just gonna say, can't you just imagine like the the 
uh, Wendy's social team is just like some teenager who gets like an alert. Yeah. Like it at, is. they're at school and they just get an alert and they're like, oh, okay, it's on. Yeah. And they go to the bathroom <laughs> exactly. miss and they're just yeah. out burning yeah. Chick fil A. Like, teenagers are like the scariest too. So, like, you know, oh, yeah. for sure. They will fuck you up on the internet. Or, yeah. like, is it at the point now where like these brands are paying Wendy's to roast them? Ooh. Yeah, like, is for this, clout. Yeah, is this like the, the marketing me. scheme inside the marketing scheme? Oh, man. I believe it. <laughs> this is some the one. serious inception. This is the one I really like. This this dude, Cooper Franklin. Oh, uh, yeah. Coop. <laughs> yeah, you know Coop. Oh, yeah. Wendy's needs to get rid of the square burger. It seems to dot the dot artificial. Wendy's replied back, unlike the supernatural circle shape that hamburgers come in when you pick them off the vine. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's <laughs> Will, you know why Wendy's burgers are square shaped, right? Yeah, because they don't cut corners, people. Yep. <laughs> no, uh, it's because I do know. I talked to uh, not Dave Thomas, but whoever is the Dave Thomas of the current age. Uh, it's because they wanted little corners poking out so people could see uh, how high quality you. their patties were. Mm. Oh. Love some oh, Wendy's. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, feel free. Just right in this, front of the camera. You're digging into some Wendy's right now. There's I a Wendy's burger right here. Fast food in I definitely front of us. ate Look like at those most of the nugs. You guys should definitely have uh, some. Uh, go. Dipping a nug in a frosty oh, with rum is something I've say, never done. The sri- sriracha mayo is pretty good. It is. The I'm frosty fry impossible burger. nugget combination is quite delicious, I have to say. Um, yeah. Mm. Big fan of spicy chicken nuggets. Are we all mm. taking a break right now? Let's yeah. eat some food. I think that's fine. Yeah. Should we dip everything in these boozy frosty and see what happens? No. Wow, no. this is this is pretty good. I feel like the answer. Oh, the, the impossible whopper. Um, no, you're trying the impossible whopper right now. Have you ever had that before? Mm-mm. Really? Oh wait. Do you need to uh, do this? Oh, that's the Popeyes, the lauded Popeyes fried chicken sandwich. Yeah. Have you tried it before, Kevin? I I had not tried it before today. No, wait. So we have Cat trying the impossible burger. Kevin trying the Popeye's fried chicken sandwich. This is a live on air reaction to these things. Yeah. Kevin, what do you think? I mean, I was doing it quietly in the background <laughs> while I you chugged nib- my Frosty. <laughs> you were nibbling wide eyed, nodding Kevin along. is going to town <laughs> on everything. Mm, I uh-huh. didn't realize we had such yeah. a spread. <laughs> what, did you, uh, what did you think? Um, well, I should say that it's a little room temperature. True. We're not recording this yeah. from a Popeye's. <laughs> <Yeah>. No. <laughs> Didn't come alert. piping hot. <laughs> no. But uh, delicious. I mean, mm. uh, really, the the chicken, pe- like the flavor of the breading and the spice kicked in and the bun, it's all working together really, really well. Awesome. Just I like I Nelly <laughs> in the early 2000s. <laughs> in the early 2000s. <laughs> with, with the St. <laughs> Lunatics. <laughs> oh you can find me in St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta get a pickle bite. Yeah, you gotta get some. Oh, pickle. Get oh the, there's one in the, the back. Acid. Oh, he's talking about it's, the. It's fried flapping sandwich. around in the back there. What's a pickle bite in your mind? Uh, <laughs> any bite that has a pickle in it. <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah. Sounds like a David Blend drink. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's good. Lukewarm, warm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lukewarm yeah. and still good. How was your Impossible Burger cat? This is this. I okay. I can't remember the last time I've had a Whopper in general, but. Yeah. It does taste like meat, and it does taste like a Whopper. I mean, I think the ketchup and the pickles and the onions carry it, but yeah, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. Ma'am, um, you know, speaking of plant-based, but what a segue here. Question number three for Kevin Alexander. Yeah. The first. Pass. <laughs> Kevin's going to get it wrong <laughs> so he can drink. <laughs> that was a loophole. <laughs> um, the first fast food chain to introduce a plant-based burger into its menu was Hoomst. <laughs> a plant-based. Whomst among the us. first fast food chain to have a to have a plant. So it wasn't. Um, I'm just gonna talk this out. Yeah, no, please. So it wasn't. Uh, this, is, this is like millionaire. Who wants yeah, can you can you phone a friend? You can't, but you can talk to me as okay. Regis. All right, I'll make the Regis face. So yeah, uh, you're doing it. He's making the Regis face. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> he just screams. Um, so I'm guessing obviously it's not an Impossible Burger. So it would be some other. I'm going to go, gosh, I just want my yeah. soul to tell me if I just dig. I think yeah. it was McDonald's. Hmm. Wait, okay. the question was the first plant-based burger. That's correct. Okay, just confirming. Yes. Mm. Do you two d- agree or disagree? I disagree. McDonald's. Think about it. I I. Do not think it's McDonald's. No, I'm going to disagree also. Wow, no one has agreed. <laughs> we yeah. Uh, I think I know who it was. For good reason. You do. You know who it is? I think I know. Go. White Castle. Yep, he's right. He's absolutely oh, right. Oh, yes. Gosh. What was it? Like a oh, that was re- that no, was recent. the Impossible yeah. Slider. 
Yep. Oh, they were the f- oh. Oh, yeah. so it wa- okay. So it's it was go- an. Im- I was thinking. I that think you're going way back. Was yeah. Like a, yeah. like a beet burger. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That there was some <laughs> yeah, like sort of veg- like yeah. veggie, whatever. Bra- yeah. Like brown rice and black bean patty that McDonald's <laughs> made in the yeah, could like, not yeah. late nineties. <laughs> the further down you go, the more rummy it gets. I have to say, it's not. It's not horrible. I kind of like it. Just like my past. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Three just loco taco here. Um. Oh yeah. So, you know, you just tried the Impossible Burger. I, I've tried the Impossible Whopper, too, mm-hmm. and it was the first yeah, Whopper I had. You haven't had this. Mm-mm. You haven't tried it. Your way. I'm try it. All of this is yours. Everything you see in front of you is yours. Oh, thank you. Um, I I <laughs> haven't heard as many people in my own life being like, I went to Burger King, and I really liked it, uh, in probably since I was in, like, fourth or fifth grade. Mm. And I think it's because of this Impossible Whopper. People really – I've never heard a bad review of it, honestly. Yeah, really? I, will, I will say, like – What do you think, Ev? You just took your first bite. Second bite. <laughs> In here, though. <laughs> because I took one before. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's really good. It's, yeah. yeah. That might be better than a normal Whopper. Yeah. I kind of think it is. It's, I'm not going to lie. Really like good. a cleaner taste. Yeah. Mm. But with all the accoutrement, as yeah. they say at Burger King. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally. All that Whopper smell. Dude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. I know. I would be one of the people on like those commercials when they're like, that's not like I don't believe it, and then just yeah. like hit the guy in the face. <laughs> it's always like cowboys, like I, I don't yeah, exactly. about Whopper normal. <laughs> <laughs> I do not go for any sort of weird stuff on my Whopper. Yeah, and they're like, "Holy crap, this was delicious." Um, <laughs> okay, the, the bit has gone on. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Should I just talk in that voice the whole time? <laughs> I'm fixing to get some more of this frosty. Cat, we're back to you. This is Price is Right rules. We're not, we're not taping this, right? <laughs> uh, no, this is just for us. Um, <laughs> one for you, one for us. Yes, exactly. Right. This is the one for me. Okay, good. Price is Right rules, so okay. you have to get as close as you can without going over. This is actually a question for everyone. Okay. everyone, everyone N- can no one has gotten one right yet. I know, yeah. so that's why we just yeah. spread it out a little bit. <laughs> we're the experts so here. So someone, <laughs> someone has to get one right, because this is closest without going over, okay? okay. Yeah. How many... Doritos Locos have been sold worldwide uh, right now, uh, at this point in time. I thought this was going to be prices right, as in, like, well, how much does a Big Mac cost now? No, I'm sure okay. you guys would know that. This is supposed to be hard. Like, this is Th- why. Yeah, this is why we're not getting anything right. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. How many worldwide? Yeah, how many have been sold? Closest without going over. It's it's a nice round number, I have to say. It's not like. Oh, God. One billion. <laughs> is your guess? Yeah. Okay. I I honestly don't know. I I'm gonna go with seven hundred and eighty two million. Okay. That's not a nice round number, Kat. <laughs> I yeah, whatever. Yeah, but it's closest. I'm gonna say like one dollar. <laughs> not bad. To, to hedge. No, that's the good if you if you watch the prices right, so yeah. close to that, that's a yeah. that's a common strategy. Yeah, you're yeah. gonna get the you're gonna get the Hawaii package. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kevin stayed home from school before, I yeah. Guess, so. oh, yeah. <laughs> I've faked sick. Uh, the answer is uh, two billion. Two oh, billion. Oh so my Tony, God. Wow. there you go. Wow. Yes. At the time of launch in 2012, 15,000 jobs were created to keep up with the demand. That is wow. crazy. Yeah. That's so just... man, I was sleeping through this like yeah. now I'm gonna eat high times this of Doritos Taco Locos. Bell Doritos Locos. Yeah. So Kat, now you're digging into the Doritos Locos. I also have one. I kind of want to dip it in the frosty. Is that weird? Yes. I, just, I love. You said yes. Yes. That is right away. Absolutely strange. What is this uh, stock taco it. over here? Oh, yeah. What is that? Hmm. That is a McDonald's breakfast burrito. Oh. <laughs> Have you seen such a thing? Would you like some? Oh, no. Thank you. Anyone? I don't right. eat hard shell tacos on camera. Sorry. I was trying to pawn up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was trying to be generous and share. Oh, I will wait, eat this. This is, a big, <laughs> this is a Big Mac, though. Yep. Yeah. That's, yeah. A big Mac. Um, that's one of those Big Macs. Yeah. Oh, the Big Mac? Mm-hmm. The Big Mac. Oh. The Big Mac? Mm-hmm. Okay. I had a Big Mac in Paris uh, last spring, and it was the best Big Mac I've ever had. It's a lot oh, better, right? Yeah. Because of the brie? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it was the Eiffel Tower views and wafting sewage out <laughs> off of the Seine, actually. And all natural meat. And they put, well, when yeah. I, I studied abroad in kind of like a smaller town in France. and uh, Humble brag. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> a big town in France. <laughs> and... The cool job in that town, like we were talking to the kids, is like the cool jobs, like working McDonald's. Like that's what that's what we wanted. To do. And I was like, it is not the same. Mm-mm. It's really not. That's a tough job. I know people that have worked at McDonald's. It's just been like, 
Mm-hmm. <clears throat> a real slob. I mean, the, a cool job in California is working at In and Out. I believe that. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. It pays yeah. so well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But like high school, like you're like, oh, sweet. Yeah. No, that. Yeah. I mean, it's cool. It, it doesn't it's have to be coveted. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and their managers make a lot of money, right? Like a hundred, like upwards of one hundred and sixty thousand yeah. dollars. That's mm-hmm. insane. Yeah, but that's yeah. how you retain. Mm-hmm. Yes, true. Mm-hmm. I, aren't more like fast food chains actually uh, experimenting Ta- with Taco Bell? Taco mm-hmm. Bell, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. with giving their managers six figure uh, Wait, salary. Taco Bell is trying to test, yeah, hundred thousand dollars salary for managers of corporate owned stores. Mm-hmm. Got it. Um, but yeah, I think I was reading something, when, maybe it was like Business Insider or something. But mm-hmm. yeah, there's no. It's so hard for fast food to retain workers, right. and there are some places that that have a hundred percent turnover rate year over yeah. year, which is like nuts. Like people are constantly shifting. So how are you gonna solve that? You should pay, pay your workers more, more <laughs> what a and crazy give concept. them give yeah. them benefits. Huh. I don't know. Free Big Weird. Max. What a concept. Um, speaking of other, cause this is working great. Speaking of other countries and fast food, man, this <laughs> is awesome. Um, what country has the most McDonald's locations? Uh, behind America, obviously. So second most in the world. Hmm. Mexico. This is a question for you, Kat, actually. Oh. Because um, we did the spread around yeah. first. Yeah. Huh. He's wrong, though. Tony. <laughs> Great. So, yeah, there you yeah. go. Not Mexico. So yeah. you got one country down. I think you have, like, about 350 Shit. more. <laughs> I'm going to go with... I don't want to say Australia. Do you want to hint? I will say, like, this wouldn't be the first thing I would think of, but when you hear it, you're like, okay, that actually makes sense. Um, I'm going to go with... Fuck. I'm going to go with India. <laughs> no. It's Japan. Japan. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Um, a I little under 3,000. I was yeah. going to say Russia, but. Oh, fuck. I forgot to see if you guys agreed or disagreed. Uh, <laughs> well, Should we redo I it? it? I disagree. <laughs> he said Russia. He said Mexico. So they're <laughs> yeah, wrong. Yeah, you're right. We're, We're all right. wrong. We're all wrong. <laughs> We're all over the place here. <laughs> what okay. can't we do wrong? <laughs> okay. We're going to be fired after this. <laughs> all right. Quick slog. And one last really quick question. This is for the group. In a three-way prison rules fist fight, who would emerge victorious? This is more of an opinion thing, and I'll just go with who I. Oh believe. my god! <laughs> okay. Cool. What? Oh, this you just so took disgusting. a drink. <laughs> I kind of like Delicious. it. Delicious. I'm still drinking. That's it, my guys. favorite. Okay, <laughs> three-way three-way prison rules fight. Who would emerge victorious? The Hamburglar from McDonald's, those two guys from the Sonic commercials, or fifty Taco Bell Chihuahuas. Sonic guys. Mm. The the one who plays kind of dumb like is probably secretly like really ripped and will rip uh, you in half the hamburglar has seen some shit he's yeah. the motherfucking hamburglar yeah. I was gonna say hamburglar's done time he yeah. fights with street rules yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. so yeah. he so he know. he knows what uh, prison life is like <laughs> yeah. and he's got he will burglar you burglarize he, you he, he knows how to fashion hamburgers into shivs mm-hmm. how do you think the <laughs> sonic guys got all those convertible cars though <laughs> From murder? No, they they're, fucking stole them. They're kingpins or something, but they're not yeah. doing their own dirty work. They're hiring people to okay. do their dirty work. But this, at, okay. this reminds me, the chihuahua part reminds me of that question, like how many uh, six-year-olds do you think you could take before yeah. they'd overwhelm you? Of course. Like 50 chihuahuas. That's a lot. If they, But they they don't have a hive mind to work together. Yeah. Right, yeah. That's the but, problem with chihuahuas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they are feisty. Like they, 100%. They, they, right. they don't know their own size. And yes. 50... They'll, they would fuck you up, but the but hamburger, do, yeah. the, okay. the, the hamburger shivs. Well, the right answer is uh, the hamburger and the two Sonic guys would kill each other, and the 50 Chihuahuas would devour their corpses, <laughs> leading oh, them to be great. the only, you know, people left, dogs left. So the Chihuahuas would win. I'm sorry. Yeah, this everyone is, has this to is do. our job, everyone. <laughs> this is what we get to discuss. Well, today. <laughs> uh-huh. True. On that note, the fasties. <laughs> I guess I'll drink because I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Well, everyone I mean, everyone like, was wrong, I guess. <laughs> the Fasties will uh, come out, the actual award show, on February 19th. That's right. And there will be coverage uh, all week and a half leading up to it. Yep. Yep. Should be really fun. CNN yes. and everywhere. We're going to have <laughs> well, some... Mainly on the uh, website. <laughs> us, but. We're going to have some uh, content to tease it. Yep. We'll be able to vote for people's choice in a couple categories. It's going to be, be fun. really fun. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be awesome. Um, okay. After all this, we're going to take a quick break. Most of us are probably going to throw up. But we'll be right back for our fast food fantasy draft. This is really fun. Oh, man. Okay, be right back. <laughs> 